Growing up, I learned that life is harder than I expected it to be. It's all fun and games until you encounter endless pain and struggle. But despite these problems, I learned one thing, and that's to be stronger, that kept me going. It is one of those reasons I am boy of the day. Not perfect, but doesn't give up this thing. I have pushed myself to be the person I am today. I didn't let myself give in to problems that almost broke me. I stood up, no matter how hard the situation is. This is for all the people out there who are trying to cut, starve, and kill themselves. This is a message to all who are hopeless, who wish they were dead, compare themselves from others, cry themselves to sleep, are abused, are depressed, are scared. You are not for God, not by you. It's difficult to understand how an individual could not give value to our survival instinct, which is to survive from a difficult standpoint. That's why I'd like you to hear me out because I'm going to talk about the most uncomfortable questions about human behavior. Why do people get depressed? Or why do people commit suicide? First of all, I just want to put it out there that I am not degrading nor questioning anyone who's suffering from depression or any mental health illness. In fact, I respect each and every one position where I believe that we are created by God in His image and likeness with that being said. Amen? Amen. Close to 800,000 people have committed suicide every year, according to the World Health Organization. So I'm wondering, where did this depression came from and what was the best definition for it? For me, the reason why people get depressed is because of the consistent expectations that we hold to ourselves. Let me say that again. The reason why people get depressed is because of the consistent expectations that we hold to ourselves. The feeling of the being second best is hard. It's like being a shadow to someone, but don't get me wrong, I didn't want the spotlight from other people. All I wanted for people is to see me for me, not for what I do, but for who I am. I wanted and I still want my parents to be proud of me. So everything that I do in school, I make sure that I put extra effort on it. Because it's the only thing that I'm good at, even though I'm still not satisfied with it. That is my consistent expectations that I have held into myself for so long. And if I fail to meet my expectation, I'll call myself a certified failure. Because if I fail as a student, I will surely feel like I failed as a son. Expectations will only lead to disappointments if not given the right amount of effort and dedication. So, so I recommend to live your life to the fullest. Do your best, but do not sacrifice. Do not ever sacrifice your happiness and mental health in over anything. And before you question me if happiness can sustain your daily needs, then I would say yes. Because if you are happy with what you are doing, you are a hundred times motivated to work hard. You are loved. You are appreciated. You are enough. You are allowed to scream. You are allowed to cry. But you are not allowed to give up. Always remember that you should do something today that your future self will thank you for. That's all. God bless us all.